Right, okay. so moving swiftly on to our next speaker is uh, Sarah. Sarah uh, Posner is the author of the new book, Why White Evangelists Worship at the Altar of Donald Trump. She's a reporting, reporting fellow at Type Investigations and her work has appeared in the New York Times, Washington Post, Los Angeles Times, The Guardian, The National, The New Republic, HuffPost, and many more. Uh, Sarah is joining us today from Washington, DC, and her talk is titled, Investigative Journalism During Rising Authoritarianism. So Sarah, if you're ready, over to you. Thank you, and thank you to Mike for asking me to do this. We went back and forth on what the title should be, um, but I felt that given the context, it was um, important to me to talk about the values of uh, journalism and investigative journalism in particular, when reporters around the world are not only faced with um, physical violence and persecution and oppression and jail, um, but also that journalists have to contend with um, that kind of hostility on top of uh, being lied to and gaslit. Um, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about the process that went into my book and how, uh, how I came to report this book in the midst of um, a book about rising authoritarianism in the context of rising authoritarianism. So as Zach mentioned, this is, this is the book, it's called Unholy, Why White Evangelicals Worship at the Altar of Donald Trump. And um, I've been reporting about the Christian right in the United States um, for many, many, many years. Um, it dates back to the time when I first met Mike and Leslie when we were in college together. Um, and my reporting started with how, um, how evangelicals, white evangelicals, who had for many, many years professed wanting a president who was a Christian, who was a family man, who was pious, who was committed to their values, um, would fall for Donald Trump. And at the same time, as I was reporting on that during the 2016 primary campaign, I was also reporting on how Trump was energizing and electrifying white supremacists with his racist and nativist rallies, um, with his use of social media, which amplified uh, racist and white supremacist um, Twitter feeds, and um, how at the, same at the same time that he was electrifying these white supremacists, he was also enthralling um, evangelicals, Christian nationalists, people who believe um, that America was founded as a Christian nation and should be restored to being a Christian nation after what they see as um, the so what they would call social engineering of secularism and the civil rights movement and uh, women's rights and reproductive rights and LGBTQ rights. So a through line of the book is how these two wings of the American right ended up in coalition in support of Donald Trump. And that this was happening alongside and as part of rising right wing authoritarianism around the world. And the through line of my book is how both of these wings of the American right share um, a hostility towards liberal democratic values towards the notion of a society which is um, based on the institutions of a liberal democracy, including a free press, an independent judiciary, an executive that can be checked um, by, uh, an, uh, by a legislative branch, the separation of powers, and a government that protects the civil and human rights and dignity of everyone, uh, all of its citizens, regardless of their status or sexual orientation, gender identity, race, ethnicity, and so forth. And so what we have right now is Trump um, continuing to hold on to this base, doubling down uh, in the midst of our twin pandemics here, um, COVID and um, systemic racism. Um, doubling down on all of this. And so we're facing um, a lot of threats to our democracy here in the United States, a lot of which center around not just Trump, but the coalition that he's built uh, with its hostility to, like I said, the values and institutions of 
of a liberal democracy. And so as we get closer to the election, it's important to understand how Trump and his coalition work in tandem with each other to uh, sow division within our society, to cause people to question what the truth is, um, to cause people to question what is at stake in the election, what is happening in the election, what is happening with the pandemic and Trump's role in it. Um, and so I see my five minutes are almost up, um, but I wanna thank everybody for letting me participate in this event. And um, I'm looking forward to hearing what everyone else is performing and has to say. Thank you.